let's do some problems that are related to the vocab that we just did. So you can see we've got a shape over here, which is a plane. We've got some capital letters. We've got some lowercase letters. We've got a letter right here, which is the F. And let's make that kind of more scripted. Uh, because remember, we want a plane to have script letters um, if we're not going to name it with the three non-collinear points. So the first question says, give two other names for line. And you can't see that that's a line thing, but it is. It's just really tiny. So we're saying two other names for line AB. Remember when we have a line, we can name it with capital letters or we can name it with one single lowercase. So the first thing I might say is line H. So there's one name for that line. The other name I might give is remember that with a line, there's really no direction. There's no start and finish point. So if we go, th it goes through A and B. So it can go through A and B. It can go from B to A or A to B because it's just going through it. So another name for that could be line BA. Remember with rays, we can't do that. With a ray, there's a certain direction. But with a line, we can. With a line, we can say, hey, okay, it's going up to down or down to up. Okay, it's going left to right or right to left. So that's the first one with finding uh, two other names for line AB. Your second question, collinear. So if we remember what collinear means from our vocab, collinear means points that are on the same line. Because remember, when we did linear functions in Algebra 1, L-I-N-E, line, linear function when we graph it is a line. A-R, remember I always said lines are straight, linear. And so co means to work with, so working with lines. So working together, I should say. So points that work together on the same line. So three points that are on the same line, well, H is not a point. H is simply a name here. It's, it's the label for that line. So we can't use this line that goes this way. But if we look at the line that goes this way, which is C, B, and D, well, what that looks like is, I know it's just a piece of, it's got the dotted line. But basically, you've got your plane. And it's like we put a line down through it and it's coming out that other side, okay, as if we poked it right through. That's what that dotted line represents. And so that is a solid line going down through that plane. So three points that are collinear, C, B, and D, are all on that same line. So they're collinear, okay? So again, remember, collinear means working together on the same line, so collinear points that are, lie on the same line. Another name for plane F, remember I changed that to like that kind of cursive F um, to make it scripted, kind of scripty because that's what they like. But another name for a plane is we're going to name three, we're going to use three points that are um, non-collinear. Remember collinear means on the same line, non-collinear means they are not on the same line. And so three points that are non-collinear in that plane, so inside of this gray area, we've got point E, point A, and point B, that yes, A and B are on the same line, but E is not. So those are non-collinear points. Okay, So that is how we could also name that plane F. To name a point that is not coplanar, with A, B, and E. So we look at the plane that I just named, A, B, and E, points that are not coplanar. So just naming a point, well, what point is outside of that plane? Point C. Okay, point D is also outside of that, but only asked for one point, but I'll give you both. Okay, because it's not inside the plane. And again, the plane really doesn't have that dimensions, but that line is showing that it's not out there. That's why it's kind of shaded. It's, it's just showing that it's, it's kind of there, and the point is going to be up above that. Okay. Um, 
And then the last question we're going to look at for this particular video is to give another name for CD. Now notice CD has just a single line over it. That again means that's a line segment. And the endpoints are C and D. So if we look at it, we've basically got this little line segment, I'm going to put it here, that starts here and goes there. And so another name for that, we go C to D or D to C. And we put that little line over it and that shows you that it is a line segment.